Hello, my name is Roy Tomolino. I'm with BMEX. During this short video, I'll show you how to calibrate a temperature loop consisting of a temperature element, a temperature transmitter, a local display, as well as the DCS value in the control room. Before we start the calibration, let's review the connections. First, we're starting off with our temperature source. This is a BMEX FB150 temperature block. That will be providing the temperature to our sensors. We have a temperature element connected to our temperature transmitter. Now the temperature transmitter in this case happens to be foundation field bus. It could also be heart, it could also be profi bus. It could also be a conventional transmitter that's not even smart. Now the output from this transmitter is going to our MC6 calibrator. Now the BMAX MC6 is measuring our field bus output in this case. It's also providing loop power to power up our device. Like I mentioned already, you could also measure the milliamp output or the Profibus digital output as well. And we're communicating with the dry block by using this USB cable. This comes out to USB and then we have a conversion to serial because there's a serial connection in front of the dry block itself. And the other part of the dry block is this highly accurate PRT temperature probe, so we're increasing our accuracy even more over the standard dry block. Also in this test we'll have a local display value that we'll be recording as well as a value that'll be back in the DCS which is in the control room. Let's get started. We start by pressing documenting calibrator. This shows us our positions or tags that we're ready to test. In the middle we have our temperature transmitter, below that we have our local display, and at the top we have our DCS control room display. And I said that in that order because we're going to group these together in that exact order. Now these are three separate tests, but we have the ability to do them all at the same time, sequentially. So we'll create what we call a group, and I'll pick the one that I want to start with, that's the one in the middle. I'll press this button here and then add the next one, add another one, and I'll pick the top one. Now all three of them are selected in the proper order. So I'll press check here, and now we just hit start. The MC6 now tells the dry block to hit zero degrees C, and now we wait for the test point. We've just reached our first set point and our 15 second timer is now counting down which you can see on the bottom. So we're at temperature for our second point. We use this as our actual display. This could be a display somewhere in your process. So we've got a 0.69. We'll accept that point. And now time for the third point. So the third point is our DCS reading in the control room. So we're going to simulate making a phone call to find out what it's reading on the display right now. So we have a point four nine on our display. We've just done our test point for all three of our positions, our temperature transmitter, our dis local display, and thirdly, our DCS display in the control room. Now it's time for point two. We'll wait for our temperature block to heat up to that point. We've now reached our second test point of our three devices. So the countdown, as soon as that's reached zero, it will capture the test results for our temperature transmitter. We're still at our second test point with our second test, which is our local display. Again, we're using this as our local display. 50.84. We'll accept that point. And finally, we have our control room display. So in this case, we would ring up the control room and find out what number they're actually seeing.
we've accepted that point. Now we're heating up to our third and final point. We've just reached the temperature for our final test point. So we're at 100 degrees C and it's going to record our value for our temperature transmitter. The next up is our local display. 100.67 and finally our control room display. So we've just completed our group calibration. We see we have a past record and it specifically says temperature loop 27 foundation field bus transmitter has passed. So that's one test in our group of three. Just like all of the tests, you can enter notes, you can look visually at the graph as well as the raw data. So I'll save this. It's being saved as found. I'll hit check. Now I'm getting my second test, my second calibration pop up. And this is the local display. You can see that on the upper right hand corner. And the same thing, you can go down, view the graph itself, view the raw data. So we'll save that as found. And finally, we have the control room display. Cycle through this. There's our graph and our data to support it. Let me save that as found as well. So we've just gathered data for three separate calibrations using the same temperature points from our temperature source. Normally, if you have three calibrations to perform, you have to cycle your temperature bath three separate times. But what we did is our first test point was zero degrees and we grabbed our first test point for all three of our calibrations. Boom, boom, boom. We raised the temperature bath up to our middle test point and grab our second test point on all three of those positions. And then finally took it up to 100 degrees C and then grabbed our third and final test points on all three calibrations. That saves time, that saves money. So to summarize, we've shown you how to perform a calibration loop using a temperature element, a temperature transmitter, a local display, as well as a DCS display back in the control room. If you have other calibration questions, please check out our other calibration videos. Thanks for watching.